Next year, there will still be some capital spending on 28 nanometer, but relatively small. And the vast majority will be on 20 nanometer. And that spending, that kind of spending, the pace of spending on 20 nanometer will continue into 2015. And then, of course, in 2015, uh, the 16 nanometer filter will also be making a, an appearance. And uh, fortunately, uh, uh, they, uh, the conversion from uh, poly SOC to 16 filter uh, is uh, uh, quite quite good. Uh, uh, in other words, uh, uh, we don't expect any significant loss uh, in the conversion from 20 nanometer uh, capacity to 16 nanometer capacity. Thank you. All right, so now we will switch back to the floor. Uh, the first question goes to Deutschbank's Michael Joe. Hi, Jack. Uh, one question is that uh, would you invest in this and you be given that uh, the industry leader is uh, going to invest in that you be? And what's the view? What's in the field in there? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the view for the competition between uh, ASML EUV and the Minecraft uh, for the EUV? Uh, which one would you I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Uh, you, you were asking about ASML? Uh, ASML. What you said competition? Uh, the competition between ASML uh, EUV and the uh, Minecraft. So, which one will become the uh, industry standard for? Well, uh, which one will become? Well, I think that uh, uh, it appears that uh, EUV. Uh, I, let me put it another way. It appears that uh, uh, the uh, EV, multiple EV, uh, is behind EUV. Uh, but the uh, EUV progress uh, uh, has not been uh, uh, very, very good uh, either. Uh, uh, now, but uh, we still, uh, we're still in the EUV, uh, even though uh, the progress today uh, uh, has not been uh, Very satisfying, uh, but they, but they, if you compare with the e I would say that the uh, uh, e is uh, certainly uh, behind e uh, Does it mean, are you going to invest in case and not see e going forward, given that uh, your competitors are moving We are uh, uh, actively uh, negotiating with uh, ASN now. Uh, and uh, actually, uh, uh, ASML uh, brought up this uh, investment on the deal uh, to, to, to three companies together, uh, with three industry leaders. <laughs> 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 and and, uh, and uh, now, of course, uh, uh, one of them decided, decided to, to do it first. That's okay. <laughs> so uh, we are we are you know, we have been uh, for more than half a year now, and uh, uh, recently, of course, uh, since. Uh, one of our uh, 
colleagues uh, that's all inside, so of course that uh, kind of uh, got our attention again so, uh, so our discussions with uh, ASML have become uh, even more active uh, music, yeah. But we are still in active negotiations with ASML. Thank you. Our next question goes to Morgan Sandy Seolu. Hi, Dr. Jane. Um, you just raised your uh, pre-tax uh, income behavior from 10% to something more than 10%. Uh, can you talk about what is uh, behind that? Because is it a you know, higher expectations now for market share? Is it the whole industry that you think is going to grow faster? Is it profitability? What exactly is behind that uh, that that uh, bold challenge? Thank you. What well, there are two main things behind that. Uh, one is that uh, our need uh, in uh, both technology and manufacturing, uh, I believe, is strengthened. Has strengthened. Uh, remember, you know, uh, starting in 2010, we didn't just increase K-Tax, we also increased R&D. Our R&D is, uh, right now, our R&D is double, double what it was in 2009. Uh, so it was a two-pound um, uh, plus uh, back in 2009 and 2010. Uh, the two part of us was uh, to increase both R&D and, uh, and uh, cap capital uh, significantly. Uh, and the R&D is now double uh, it was uh, in 2009. Uh, at any rate, uh, I believe that you know, the, the reason, two things behind uh, why we raise our uh, pre-tax income growth uh, one is that we believe that uh, our technology need has strengthened. Uh, uh, and we have maintained our manufacturing which we have had all along. And our customer trust need uh, which we have had all along. And the other reason, of course, is uh, that uh, the handheld products, the mobile products, the smartphone, and uh, the uh, tablets. Uh, uh, I mean, that was uh, something that we did not completely foresee in uh, 2010. Uh, and, uh, in 2010, we did not foresee this, uh, this mobile product market. Uh, uh, not as clearly as we do not anyway. So, uh, so those are two reasons why we raise our, our goal. Yeah. Great, thank you. Uh, my second question is uh, more more short term. Um, you talked about this uh, uh, dip or inventory regression in 4Q and 1Q of next year uh, because of the, the macro factors and, and such. That, that to me feels kind of like uh, last year when macro got a little bit worse you saw a little bit of a, you know, maybe a two-quarter uh, period where you were growing below uh, seasonal patterns. You know, if you look at this year versus last year, are they, are they similar or worse or better? Um, you're right. Um, yeah, and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's very, very similar, similar. I think it's a very similar situation. Um, well, with some difference, you know, I think that uh, the European situation uh, was uh, certainly, uh, uh, I think this year, uh, we are worse than uh, last year. And uh, mainland China, I think uh, last year, uh, we were talking about a uh, slowdown from 10% uh, to 9%. Uh, this year we talked about a slowdown from uh, 9% to uh, maybe 7.5%. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, the difference is that uh, uh, the, 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 the 
So, but uh, basically, uh, the fields, uh, you know, the uh, high hops early in the year, and mainly those high, ho high hops are based on general economic problems. Uh, last year, early last year, there was high hopes about world economy also. And uh, then the uh, hope was, uh, was uh, bashed uh, later on in the year. And now uh, this year, earlier this year, there was high hopes again, and uh, it's been bashed. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the inventories, I think, were, 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 were you know, were, were based on, on that also. You know. The high hopes uh, gave rise to the high inventories uh, in the supply chain. Everybody, uh, everybody hoped, everybody had high hopes. 